Hi, my name is Glenn Monroe and I own Brain Diesel. And today I want to solve a problem that I've had a client present to me, which was that they couldn't open files. Now, this client has a lot of folders and folders and folders, but they're running into a different error on some files but not others. So let me illustrate the error to you. Here I've got some file names. And when I go to try to open Mark, it opens without any problem. Let me get there. And here it is. Oh, come on. And my Mark folder opens up without any issues at all. I'll close that down. But when I go to open Stephanie, I get this error. And the error is that it can't find the file. Now, I found the file. I'm not asking for it to look for it. I'm in, it, in Windows Explorer. I've navigated to the folder. I'm double clicking on it. And no, Excel stops there. So that's the frustration with it, is that you can't open the file. And it comes down to the length of the file name. Now, the file name itself wasn't that bad because it was just, um, like Mark or Stephanie, that's not a big, that's not a long file name. But it's the file name includes the path of all the other folders leading to it. So when I open up Mark, here I've got the actual file path, which is users, my name, documents, a video sample folder. Can you have too many folders? Does it even matter? Atlantic Northeast Region Sales, team reports, yada, yada, yada. All this stuff going way off the side until I get to Mark's name at the end. And that added up to a total of 223 characters, which is right around the limit. I believe it's 224 is the limit. Whereas when I try to open Stephanie, it exceeds the limit, and Excel can't hunt that well. So we're going to close this file down and save our changes. So what's the solution? Well, the solution is don't have as many folders. OK, that's a little glib. So let's come up with a better solution than that. The reason you have folders and folders and folders is because you want to have an easy way of grouping your things and finding your things. So let's do that now. I'm going to take this mark, mark file, and I'll press Shift and choose Stephanie, and I'm going to cut those. And let me go find, like, way, way early in my list of folders. Let's go back here to this one. And I might want to have a folder or two to have some grouping take place. That's fine. I'll paste them in here. So there's the files now. If I actually open up the mark file, the path is only 112 characters because it's now in documents and then the folder to my name. So no issues anymore with the file, the length of the file name. And Stephanie will open up now as well. Without any issues at all, Stephanie opens. So it's the same deal. It, it Mark or Mary, Stephanie or Sebastian makes no difference. It comes down to how many um, how long the path is to get to the file. So I've moved into the folders. I no longer need this folder or anything after it. I'll hit delete on that. And there we go. They're all flushed out because I've pulled them all out. But I need to be able to search for them. So here's how we're going to do that. We're going to select Mark, Shift, and go down to Ste uh, Stephanie. So I've got them all selected. At the bottom, there's a thing called tags. And this is in, in uh, Windows Explorer. So with tags, I can tag as many things as I want. This is Atlantic team, team, and there's a semicolon if I want to have different tags. I could choose to have sales, um, results, reports, actual, you decide. Have as many as you want. Be excessive there with the names of your file and hit save. Done. Now what happens is when I'm here, and I go searching for any of those words, like actual, I'll just put an act, it finds all four files. If I put in the word uh, report was there, R-E-P, it will find. If I put in port, it doesn't find it. It looks at the first characters, not, not anywhere in the word. So it has to be the first characters, but I had Atlantic, let's find that, there it is, uh, and so on. I can search for anything. Besides that, we also had the issue of we had 2015 and we had uh, January and all that. Internet or Windows Explorer also looks in your files. So when I go here, you'll see under the Mary file, I actually put in the title January 2015 Atlantic Sales Report. If you have something like that as a title, now I can search for that word, January. And there it is. It found Mary because that's the only file I put that name in. Uh, 2015. Any cell that has 2015 in it, it finds. So 
It's really good at searching. It will search in your Word documents. It'll search in your PowerPoint presentations. I haven't checked PDFs, but it will search in Excel. Uh, look at all your cells until it finds what you're looking for. So with that strong search functionality, I don't need to have all these different folders. I can now have much less folders. Still have a couple to group things together. That's fine. But the search functionality will take care of it for you, and you go from there. I hope this helps you. And if you'd like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Facebook and on Twitter. So stay pumped, and we'll talk again soon. Bye now.